This is a screencast for all you music lovers who want to use Last.fm on your new Ubuntu systems. Ubuntu 10.04 has some good built-in Last.fm support in the default music player. You can find that by going to Applications, Sound and Video, and Rhythmbox Music Player. To set up Rhythmbox so that it sends all the information about the songs you listen to to Last.fm, go to Edit and Plugins. And there you'll find the last FM plugin. Make sure it's checked and click on it and click configure. Here you want to enter your last FM username and password. And then click on statistics to see if you log in successfully or not. Okay, we logged in successfully. We can close the windows here. And let's give it a try. I'll go ahead and play any song from our library. In this case, Hello Seattle by Owl City. Now, if we go to the Last FM homepage, our profile page, we can see that it sent the information to Last FM and it shows that we're now listening to this song. If we listen to the song all the way through, it will then send that information and it will show up on our recently listened to tracks. If all you want to do is let Last FM know what music you're listening to, then you're all set up and ready to go. But there's also a Last.fm desktop client that can be installed right here within Ubuntu. To install it, go to the Applications menu and click on the Ubuntu Software Center. Once that opens up, do a search for Last.fm. And you'll see here the Last.fm player. If you want to click on Get More Information about that, you can read about the player before you install it. Once you're ready to install, just click the install button, enter your password for your desktop computer, and wait a couple seconds and it will be installed. All right, now it's installed and we can find our Last.fm player in Applications, Sound and Video, and Last.fm. The first time you start it up, it'll ask you for your username and password. Just click Next. Enter your username and password. Click Next again. And Finish. Now, this is the Last.fm media player. You can see your profile information here. If I double click on My Recommendations, the music that Last.fm is recommending for me will just start playing. And now we're streaming music from Last.fm, right from our desktop client. This is also sending information to Last.fm. If we go to the website and refresh, we can see that we're listening to Fine China right now. The desktop client allows you to skip songs until you find something you like. Or you can start a new radio station. Let's start one with the power pop tag. See what we get. Get some Weezer. And if you want to, you can look at all the different things from your profile. Recently listened to tracks, recently loved tracks, your friends, your neighbors, and all this information is right here on your desktop. You don't have to keep it open in Firefox in order to listen to and stream Last.fm music. One last thing, with the new Ubuntu theme of everything being black and white in the top panel, the red Last.fm icon looks a little bit weird, but we can change that really quickly here in the preferences. That looks better. That's about all there is to it. Enjoy Last.fm on your new Ubuntu 10.04 system.